key evidence in jeopardy of being thrown out of the case of a former UNC student accused of driving drunk the wrong way and killing three people. As CBS North Carolina's David Hurst reports, much of the focus today was on cell phone records. Chandler Kenya was back in court today a little over a year after troopers say he got drunk and drove the wrong way on I-85, killing three people, including a six-year-old girl. His attorneys want several pieces of evidence thrown out ahead of his trial scheduled for October, but the focus today was on cell phone records. They want to keep out any texts, photos, or videos on Kenya's phone leading up to the July 2015 crash. Kenya's attorneys argue the search warrant for the phone was improperly served, but the state argues the search warrant was valid and Kenya's parents never objected to giving up the phone. Kenya's attorneys tell us it's not easy for Kenya and his family to sit through these hearings, and they think about the victim's families just about every day. I think he struggles. I mean, he's struggling. Yeah, he would. He, he naturally would. And and that family is appropriately keeping in mind the victims. And they talk about that all the time. And they will never be okay. Never, never will be okay. The judge says he will make a ruling on the motion either sometime later this week or sometime next week. The defense attorney also made a motion to have the trial continue to a later date. However, the judge immediately denied that motion. Reporting in Hillsborough, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina. Kenya's attorneys have filed motions to dismiss other key parts of evidence, but those most likely will not be heard until the trial in October.